it'll be good. Um, I started making macarons out of my house about three years ago and it just started as a hobby. And then as people tasted them, they wanted to buy them and it slowly snowballed. I'm now making hundreds of macarons out of my house each week. Let me just melt some chocolate drizzle. There we go. Wow, that's really tight. I'm gonna pour this over the top. That made it thinner. It's really challenging making for my home because there's never a clock out time. So I'm trying to make cookies, but also be mom and keep my house together and keep my kids happy. No, I don't want it. And it's just always this constant whirlwind. Can't go to the garage because the garage door is not You said that yesterday. Yeah, and tonight is the night, girlfriend. Yeah, you said that the night before yesterday. Tonight is the night, I promise you. I feel like I've maxed out with where I'm at and what I'm able to do on my home. If I want my business to continue to grow, I have to make some changes. I was talking to a good friend of mine who mentioned this business pitch competition to me, and I decided to go ahead and apply for it, and I didn't tell anybody because if I didn't win, I didn't want to um, make a big deal of it. I've never done anything like this before. I've always kind of stayed in my comfort zone of if I can do it in my house, then I'll do it in my house. I was super nervous because I didn't know what to expect. And so I just went in and tried my best to be as clear about my idea as I could be, but it's nerve wracking. I would like to open a consignment bakery here in Bernal in the downtown area. The idea behind the My idea that I'm pitching is that I will create an indoor farmer's market and consignment bakery to where I can make my macarons so I can have a physical space for my macarons, but then I can provide a physical space for other home bakers or other homemakers and crafters to be able to sell their things as well. So after I did my business pitch, I, I tried to just calm myself down because I didn't want to get my hopes up. So I'm super excited to congratulate Trisha Sorensen as our first place winner. When they announced that I was the winner, I just was a little bit in shock, a little bit of disbelief, but just so excited because, yes, I'm going to be able to make this happen. But then also, oh no, I have to make this happen. <laughs> as soon as I found out that I won, I went and signed a lease. says we need six months to a year to get going, but we're gonna do it in three months. We got into the kitchen and what I thought was perfect wasn't perfect. I have to figure out how to replumb the sink. I have to hardwire an oven and I have to do all these other things just for it to pass inspection so that we can open. The thing I'm most nervous about is filling my store with vendors because if I don't get enough vendors in here, then we are not going to be able to sustain the business. Yep. To being a legitimate business with like a space, I've had to rethink everything. I have four kids. My youngest is five and my oldest is 11, and they are very much still needing mom and still needing my attention. And so that's been a hard thing, but I feel like it's been worth it because they are seeing mom go for a dream. As we're getting going, we're hitting these roadblocks, roadblock after roadblock, and we are seeing that so many people are coming in to, to have our back. In anticipation for the opening, I'm here baking all day, every day, 600 macarons to get started, hoping that's enough. 
and learning the new kitchen, <laughs> learning a new oven. So in my mind, if we had 16 vendors, we would be okay. And we are sitting here getting ready to open at 30 vendors and we have a waiting list of 20 vendors. I was thinking you can just drill holes at like an yeah. inch and, a, and half an inch in and down yep. and then just tie some twine and just go up and over. Perfect. Okay, do it. I think that's great. In our town, there is nothing else like this. I feel so proud to have my work displayed publicly in, in a brick and mortar store like Market on Main. You can come in and, and see local artists and their work. When tourists come into our community, they want that local flair. And so as visitors go into Market on Main, they can pick up those one-of-a-kind treasures that they just can't get anywhere else. Yeah, tomorrow. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. I've seen Trisha become a leader through this process. She, she hears us. I feel like she's so present when we have a concern, or we have a goal, or we have an idea. The week before opening, my husband and I were in the store getting everything set up, and the rain starts. And it's raining really hard, and I look at him and I say, I wonder if it's gonna leak. And the moment the words came out of my mouth, the water starts pouring down all over the floor. So we grab a bucket and we grab the garbage cans and we set up the garbage cans and we just sit and wait and watch until the water lets down. The Sunday before opening, I was making dinner for my family and I just had this overwhelming feeling of just panic. That, you know, there's, there's stores that open here in town that don't stay open. What if this fails? What if I'm one of those businesses that's only open for three months and then because I don't know what I'm doing, we just, we fail and I end up letting everyone who, all my vendors down, all the people in the community who bought into this and I just had to go in the pantry and shut the door and cry it out. My husband came in and said, what are you doing? <laughs> and kind of gave me that moment to laugh and to take a breath and be like, it's going to be okay. Whatever happens, it's going to be okay. So today is our grand opening and it's this day that felt like it would never get here and it's here and it's surreal. It's been a whirlwind and we've worked so hard to get here. 16? It is two bucks. I am so excited for the customers to actually get in the store and to realize that their friends and their neighbors and people that they know are creating things and it's all here. The turnout for grand opening has exceeded every expectation. We were not ready <laughs> for all the people that would be coming the door. It's a moment of pride. It's just one of those most fulfilling things to be able to have a dream about something and then to see that dream follow through and to become a reality. It's not just mine, it's, it's my family's too. It gives me chills thinking about it, it's just awesome. Trisha's experience with Market on Main has been inspirational to me and, and many others in the community. Um, she's really sparked this chain reaction of individuals thinking about entrepreneurism, thinking about starting their own business. Hey, if Trisha can do that, wow, maybe I can take my idea and, and make it into a business too. I chose a theme of community for my business because I believe there's so much power in community. And I look at our town and I look at what our town has done for my family. And I look at what it's done for the people around me and what happens when the community comes together and supports each other. 
I had a goal of what we needed for opening weekend. And as we sat down and looked at the numbers, after it was all said and done, we tripled that goal. If this is something that's needed in our community and people need a space, then maybe we need a bigger space. Even in a rural community, we have such great internet here, so we can support an e-commerce site, which is really exciting. This is just the beginning. There's so much more for Market on Main.